<laughs> so here, the Hakka took up the difficult leather trade, an industry that was seen as dirty and stigmatized. But here too, the Hakka thrived, creating their own complex blend of Indian and Chinese culture. Through it all, the Hakka remained hopeful and persistent about their future prospects. Now the spirit of the Hakka is reflected in the following Bollywood lyrics. They go something like this. Life is a wonderful journey. No one knows the future. Tread joyfully. Pass the days smilingly. Now, here to sing Zindagi Ek Safar Hai Suhana, Life is a Wonderful Journey, please welcome Martin Louie. <laughs>
We have some talented haka out here. Uh, so, next, my friends, we travel from the bustling streets of India to the haka communities along the water. In Mauritius, haka hail from Moyan, Neishan. Today, Mauritian haka represent a large part of the haka diaspora in Canada and in Toronto. Now, after the British Empire abolished slavery in the 1830s, indentured laborers from China filled the gap of cheap labor. Despite not initially knowing the culture and norms of this island, and despite surviving through the difficult labor that they went through, the Hakka were like a sponge, easily adapting to non-Chinese environments. In an essay by Roland Sang Kwai Kyu, he mentions that a Mauritian Chinese could enjoy Indian roti for breakfast, Hakka mean for lunch, and Muslim biryani for dinner. <laughs> so, it's clear that the Mauritian Hakka ability for adaptation was also echoed around the world. Now, we travel from the tropical sun and heat of Mauritius to the shores of the Caribbean Sea. Many Hakka sailed from China through the ports of Hong Kong, Egypt, and the Mediterranean before finally arriving amongst the Caribbean islands. In Trinidad and Tobago, Hakka seized the opportunity to venture into a new land. And again, they were first unaware of the languages, the customs, and the cultures, but they persevered and they adapted despite difficulties. In Trinidad, the music of the steel pan signaled celebration and a gathering of community. It is associated with the celebratory music of the annual carnival festivities. Now, here to play two songs on Trinidad's national instrument, the steel pan, please welcome Suzanne and John Lowe. <laughs> Okay, here we go, everybody. 